So again, whenever they want you to find the equation of a line, like if your problem says find the equation of a line, it's always y equals mx plus b. And before you start, these are just some notes I wrote up here. This is the problem we're going to do. Before you start, really your only job is to find m and b. So I usually write on the side m equals and b equals. And the reason is, is once I know my m and once I know my b, my slope and my y-intercept, once I know those, I'm done with the problem, right? And so this is kind of a good way to tally and keep track of if we're done or not. So in this case, this is pretty mellow. They actually gave me, they said, find the equation of a line with the slope equal to 3 that goes through a point 1, 8, right? And so this, because we need these two pieces of information, sometimes they're generous and they're pretty cool and they actually give us one. Right now, we're done with the slope. They just gave it to me. So that's actually a huge perk. So I'm going to plug my slope back into this. y equals, instead of m, now I have 3x plus b. And I'm halfway done, right? I'm almost done with this problem. If I knew my b, my y-intercept, my b, then we'd, it could be like, we'd be done, right? So what if I had an x and a y, right? If I had an x and a y, couldn't I plug them in, and then I'd only have one variable, b, and I could solve for it? I totally do. Up here, they gave me an x and a y. That's a point, x, y. So let's plug these suckers in. So 8 goes in for y equals 3 times my x value was 1. That's kind of a small 1, plus b. Now we're just solve. So now we have 8 equals 3 plus b. So minus 3, minus 3. Looks like b is 5. I put it in my little tally area. And now I know, according to Ryan, I am totally done. I found my m and my b. That's not the answer, but we know we're done with like the math part. Now, for the equation of a line, we just plug them back in. y equals mx plus b. y equals, my m was 3, x plus b. My b is 5. Oh, that's perfect. So that is my answer. So again, these equation of a line, the one thing they have in, in common is that they're y equals mx plus b. There's no escaping that you need the m and the b. How you get there is going to be different in every single problem. This one was pretty easy because they gave me slope. Um, but that's it. And remember, if you're struggling in Algebra 2 at your local high school or any of your math classes, you can take them online at Silicon Valley High School and the credits will be transferred back to your school.